Today, we bring you Diamond Dynasty action between the Chicago White Sox and the Bulls. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. And we are ready for Leading some daytime for baseball. Stop. The shortstop, Tim Anderson. And the pitch. And we're underway as the first pitch is a check swing, but a called strike, 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The 0 2 once more. He's at the knees and called strike three. The next batter will be Luis Robert. The center fielder, Luis Robert. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Very nice afternoon. High skies and 77 degrees at game time. The 1-1. One, one. A ball and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So here's the slugging first that baseman, hurt. Jose Abreu, baseman. now. Jose Abreu. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Got him to go after that one. He's in a quick oh, hold. 0 and 2. Now this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right. Now. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the end of the inning. Now with the plate is Colton Wong. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Lee half of the first. Girl. The second baseman. Colton. Here it comes. Whoa. And he takes ball one. Sent on the ground out to second. And that is through into right field for a single. Batting second. The center fielder. Ian. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. No balls in one strike. Before the 0-1, he'll no, check he's on safe. first. And he's back in standing. The 0-1 pitch. Yeah. Nearly oh, got the inside, ball. but ruled the ball. The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the belt to get loose on. Wong gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. So that he gets him good. swinging on the a pitcher's pitch. Now. Ian Happ is retired for the first out here Rainbow. in the bottom half of the first. Strike one to start the at-bat. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is the right fielder. Still going back. You can kiss it goodbye. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. Nick Castellanos, the right field. 
kick. He'll look at a fastball two nine for ball one. On the ground to the right side. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Batting fifth. The left fielder. Jesse. Stepping in now. Jesse Winker. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. This is popped up. Abreu waits on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Next, here is Batting Chris fit. Bryant. He the takes his first man. cuts in this one with Red. a man at first and two away. Bryant. Set and the pitch. Hey. Two out with the man at first. And he lays oh, off man, for man. ball one. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Garcia gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. New inning set to get underway. And up next, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. Ball one to start the at-bat. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. A ball and two strikes. Two strikes. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. And he struck him out. Now to the plate here is Yosmani Grandal. Oh, yeah. As he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Uh, very difficult to be a switch hitter in baseball today. Without question, the more comfortable side being from the right side. So he's going to have his work cut out for him here, hitting left-handed. Ozile is at least partially known for his big power slider. A lot of break on that pitch, but what makes it unique is how hard he's able to no throw ball. it. Two Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. That is good. First the pitch on the way. Yawn. Yohan Moncada is in with two away as he takes a ball 1 0. Hey. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Yeah, just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Half of the second set to go, and Maybe next will be the board. power hitting catcher, the catcher. Crash Davis. Crash. Bottom yeah, three in the batting order here is the first pitch misses to the number seven hitter. It's ball one, oh, and that one misses badly. It's ball two. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. And that's in there, base hit, and this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Batting eight. That's shortstop. Javier. Here's Javier Baez. Baez. He will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Yeah, he just wasn't on time right there. Front foot not down in time. Nothing happens before the front foot can get down. Here's a fly ball well hit. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Batting Next nine. up is no Edgar Alzale. Edgar Alzale. Here it comes. As he'll get caught chasing a bad oh, one there at strike one. Trying to do way too much up there for what I can tell. He knows that's a big run standing there at third, but that swing was way out of control. You still have to stay within yourself and look for your pitch. It's one and two. Definitely a strikeout situation here with the runner on third, so that's smart. Trying to make him chase that slider out of the zone. And that's going to be high two and two now. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, 
but you have to get a pitch you can drive. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Second baseman. Okay. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. The 0 and 1 delivery. Hits softly down the line at first. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 and 2. Here and a go. check swing here. They'll appeal it down to third. No swing, says Woody Keller. It's ball one. Here comes the one-two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Stepping up is Nick Madrigal. Leading Seven, eight, right nine. Side. Bottom of the order the set to go here in the third. Nick Madrigal. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Ready now is Leori Garcia. The right fielder, Leori Garcia. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches He's later down. in the game. Throw gets him. Two down. Bases are empty here with two away. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Lance Lynn. Lance Lynn. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lower part of the zone, but it's taken for a strike. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Well, that's a two. smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Now another 1-2. Hit on the ground out to short. Baez fields it cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So here is Ian Happ, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Swung on and missed. One and one. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. One and two. Now a curveball misses inside. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Ready to take Number his hacks again. Number Anthony Rizzo blasted a two-run homer in his last at bat. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. Garcia is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for route number two. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. One for one with a single so far. Castellano. Now this pitch is popped up. Playable for Grandal behind the plate. Back 
to the top of the order now. And up next, it will be Tim Anderson. The shortstop, Tim Anderson. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. In there for strike one. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. One and one. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss and a changeup that has him all kinds of goofed up at the plate. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort oh, that to keep ball. him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Now a swing and a ground ball for Wong at second. Throw to first oh. in time. One gone here in the fourth. Digging in will be now, Luis Robert looking to put the ball in Luis. play here. He went down on strikes Robert. in his first at bat. And the pitch. Ball one, no strike. The White Sox are one still ball, looking to break strike. into the hip column here. Tries to change balls, up on him strike. there, but it's a ball. Two and one. To two and two now. Two ball, that was two a strike. great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Two two pitches fouled away. Into the windup and the pitch. Grounded to first. Rizzo was there, and he'll take He's it to out. the bag himself for the out. So here's Jose Abreu comes into target. this at bat, 0 for 1 pitch. in the ball game. Jose Abreu. Here's the first pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. Nope. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. Ball and two strikes to count now two with strikes. the bases empty and two away. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. And a slider swung on and missed and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next Leading to bat will be Jesse the Winker. The left fielder. Jesse. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Winker. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a liner. But that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. And the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Robert is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. So bases now are empty with one out now. Third base and man. that'll bring up Chris Bryant. Bryant. Here's the first pitch. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. So he misses with a fastball. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Up next, Crash catcher, Davis. Eight. He doubled his last Crash. time up. Well, he got Davis. a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once in A.B., maybe once in a And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. the fifth and next Leading it'll be the field. outfielder Emo Jimenez the now the first pitch yeah. and a strike called at the knees nothing in one and he one misses and with it one and one this guy's been throwing the ball great so far but he's going to be tested here four five and six coming up this part of the lineup and he fouls this one off the one two ah. 
Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Now that. Now at the plate Yosemite. here is Yosmani Grandal. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Hater caught too much of the zone. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Up next for Chicago, the third baseman, Yohan Moncada. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Yohan Moncada is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1-0. Right side, but it's well fouled. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Oh, that's a little bit outside. Two and one. Hard ground ball to third. Bryant's got it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first as that will end the inning. Javier Baez as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Hard liner to center field. Robert is right there, one down. So next to hit is Adbert Pozole. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. He's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. The wind up and the 0-1. Back down side. That's in. Certainly two. know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. I got to count. And it's two, and two balls and two strikes now. Too three, high. Two. Ball three. Colton Wong waits on deck. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. So it's now back to the top of the order now. Man. And that'll bring oh, up Colton Wong. Oh. A Whoa. ball with no strikes. Skied into straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Will be Nick Madrigal. He's over one the after place. grounding out. First pitch coming. Here it is. This one's flared down the right field line. Here comes the right fielder, and the White Sox have their first hit of the game. Now batting the right fielder. Leone. At the plate, Leone right. Garcia. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the no plate so far. Strike. Behind 0 and 2 now. From the belt, the pitch. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the, the game. Hit, number 33. Digging Lance. in, the switch hitter, Lance Lynn. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And look out! Now oh, that ran in and got him. And intentional or not, you do not want to be hitting pitchers out there. Now batting. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Here's the first pitch to the left side, but it's well foul. Madrigal on second. Lynn at first. One gone. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. A swing and he pops him up on the infield. And the infield fly rule will be in effect here. So stepping in is Luis Robert. Oh, base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Luis. Robert. 
Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Half has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Now with the plate, Ian Half, he bounced out Leading last time up. The pitch on the way. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown the first pitch strike to. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Robert is there, and he has it for the first out. Now to the plate, Anthony Rizzo. He's one for two in this one. Anthony. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Jimenez will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So now the right it'll be the four hole hitter, Nicholas Castellanos. Yeah. He's singled Cal and two Day trips Yano. to the plate thus far. The fastball oh, here is to take a look at ball one, one and oh. Runs outside, so it goes to two and oh now. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. And there's the first strike, 2-1. and one. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he'll settle for a single here as they whip it back in quickly. The left fielder, number 33. Into the box, Jesse Winker. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. No hits to this point. Line drive, base hit to right. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Now batting, third baseman. Here's Chris Bryant Chris. Now, as he lays off a fastball right, yeah. too low for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. And a strike, and it's 2 and 1. Castellanos at second. Winker on at first with 2 down. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike 2. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Your Dan Winkler attention, is on to pitch from the now bullpen pitching. now to start inning number yeah. seven. Winkler. Seventh inning ready to roll. And digging in is the big time power Leading threat, the Jose Abreu. The first baseman, Jose. Abreu. First pitch of the AB on its way. Rizzo is there. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next to stand in is Evo Jimenez. The left for two on his line thus far. Jimenez. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Fastball oh, swung out and missed. And it's ruled strike two. Got a curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. And stepping in is Monty Grandol. He's a gold player who adds a potent power back to this lineup. First delivery to him. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality AB and start the line moving again. This catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. One gets away from the right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Kevin Pitt, correct. Matt Foster gets the call from the now pen to take the ball the for the home seventh. 
Number 63. Into the box. Matt. Crash. Davis. Oh, one for two with a double on his line thus far. Now the pitch. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Not much you could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Anderson onto the grass. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. And that brings up Javier Baez. Shortstop, Javier Baez. First pitch coming. Here it is. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 0 1 on its way. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that'll get down for a base hit. Ladies Jason and Hayward will attention. grab him. From the stretch. Oh, one pitch on its way. After falling down 0 2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Grounded softly to the right. The second for one. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. Your Dylan Maple has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so Dylan. to start the eighth. Maple. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Yohan Moncada. The, the third baseman, Yohan Moncada. From the stretch. Oh, but that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. Two balls and no strikes to count to Yohan Moncada. Two balls and a strike. One for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. A swing and a ground ball to third. He's got it. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag now over there, and that's out right number two. Leori. So Garcia. next to bat will be Leori Garcia. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Gets ahead of him here. He got him to swing over the top of the swing. I know closers are known for having the nastiest stuff on the team. Exploding fastballs, devastating off speed. But they'd be lying if they didn't say they wanted a two-run, three-run lead. That's exactly what this guy has a chance to do. Hand it to that monster in the ninth for the two-run lead. The count now at two and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Garrett Crochet will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Adam Engel. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Colton Wong is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1 and 0. And he takes a cold strike one. I got a ball, one strike. The 1 1 home. Line towards center field. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So we'll see if they have something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat now in the number two spot. Center fielder, Ian Happ. In now, Ian Happ, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Short. Could this be two? Out. There's one to He's Abreu out. for the big double play. So base is empty now Number after the double play. And here comes the first baseman. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Ah. 
Strike two on a fastball right down the middle. Sometimes you can get away with a pitch in that location when you're running it up. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Ray Kimbrell comes on from the pen, please. hoping to finish this one now, off here in the top of the ninth. Ray Kimbrell. Adam Engel will be charged with trying to start a rally in the ninth as they go to Ray work against right. Kimbrell. Looking the for right base team. runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not Engel. an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Ray will Ray. not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Bat, number seven. To the plate now, Tim yeah. Anderson. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Behind 0-2 now. Over to the bag, back in standing. Engel aboard here at first with nobody out. Hit out towards second. To second for one. On the Rizzo, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. Not bad. So a runner at first now with one Luis. away. And that brings Robert. up Luis Robert. Kimbrell pauses. Here it comes. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. And the White Sox are down to their final out now. Digging in next, Jose Abreu. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First delivery to him. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody. Uh, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in. Well, we had two spring training division teams going at it in this one. Pretty much an even matchup on paper. But at the end, these guys come out on top and get a well-earned victory. A 2-0 finish today. The Bulls jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Adbert Alzale is credited with the win. Lance Lynn pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team. Two runs on eight hits. No errors. They left five men on base. For the White Sox, no runs on only two hits. No errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 31 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.